As thousands of young people flocked to San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury during the 1967 Summer of Love, it was apparent that music had become more than a symbol. It was now the rallying point for a generation with radical new concerns. Have you ever been to love in? No. Oh. I think it's gonna be like Easter and Christmas and New Year's and your birthday all together, you know, hearing all the different bands, you know. Just, like, I've heard a lot of them, but all at the same time, it's just gonna be too much. I mean, the vibrations are just gonna be too much. From the acid-drenched pinnacle of 1967, the screaming fans and carefree music of three years before seemed part of another era. The sparkling visions of that summer heralded a golden age, one which might stretch on into eternity. Unifying it all more than ever before was music. By the end of 1967, England's domination of both the American and British music scenes had come to an end. But the British contributions that had made rock and roll a worldwide force would not be forgotten. New trends would come and go, but never again, perhaps, with the innocence and vitality of the original British invasion. <laughs> 